Okay, and one of the next things we're doing, in the header panel and the hood, which are the last body parts that need to be done. Header panel, there's nothing really wrong with it, at least that I have been able to see yet. Obviously, it's not taken apart. Um, got a bunch of new pieces for it. Got like a new hood ornament, got a new grill. I know there's another grill surround. I don't know if that's brand new or not. Um, he's got a whole mess of um, headlight trim and the turn signal trim. So we'll just pick the best of what we've got and go from there. I know we've got new side marker lights just like we had in the back. So um, it's, this should, the header panel anyway, should be pretty basic. Take it apart, strip it, prime it, paint it. Boom, done. So the only thing I really have to fix on this is, is one of these guys came out. I actually am surprised only one did. And there's one that's supposed to be in there. So I just have to glue that, screw that back in there, and boom, we're done. Simple. Ten minutes and everything's stripped off of there that's stripped off. Um, one thing I'm not taking off is that metal panel. There's no reason to. I don't have to take it off to fix anything, so it's good. And one of the reasons why I'm stripping all the paint, for those of you who may be wondering why, um, stuff like that, the paint's starting to get burned off of there. So I'm going to strip all the paint off so I know whatever's underneath sticks. I know a lot of people would just scuff it and paint it. To me, that's the wrong answer. So I still need to get, get the hose out or something and clean all the mud out before I do anything else. But anyway, so... Trivia question. Okay, so bonus trivia question for those of you who are um, B-body aficionados, shall we say. The Cordoba and the Charger SE from, you know, 75 through 78 with the Charger and 75 through 77 with the Cordoba were essentially the same car. Exterior had very, very little differences. The header panels are not interchangeable. If you can tell me what the differences are and why they're not interchangeable, you'll get 10 extra bonus points. Go ahead and, and uh, yeah, I think I might start doing this. Kind of silly, but whatever. Okay, there's the hood. I think the hood is in pretty nice shape. Um, I found two little dings. There's a ding that's just kind of a real whoopity spot. Um, I'm sure there's more, but it's so hard to tell right now just by feeling it. Um, I'm sure once I prime it and block it the first time, I'll find a few more little dings or something like that. But, well, it's pretty nice. The underside isn't rusty or anything. So, yeah, I think hood is going to be, uh, hopefully about the easiest panel I've got, other than the header. There we go. Found a couple more little dings in the hood. Nothing major. Uh, there's just two on the right side of the screen and one, like, five on the other side, the left side, so. I'll probably find a couple more maybe when I block and prime, but not too bad overall. Okay, to go along with the trivia question about the header panel, there's something with the hood also. Between uh, difference between the Chargers and the Cordobas. You can use a Charger hood on a Cordoba relatively easy, but using a Cordoba hood on a Charger is very difficult. Can you tell me why? That goes along the same same worthless 10 bonus points you get for the other one so I have the header and the hood painted and I'm obviously putting the header on but this is new I've never had the, com the I guess the pitch of the fender be so far off from what the header should be because I've got this one bolted down and in order to have these body lines whoops these body lines line up pretty decent this side of the header has got to be that far up. So I'm hoping to get that thing bolted down on that side, lower this, hopefully I can get it to line up right. I've, I've had to fight to get fenders in or out far enough in the past, which I have to do with this one too. But I've, this is new, so it's, big, it's a bit of a challenge. Luckily, I've got somewhere to hold the header up, otherwise it'd be a two-person job and I'm only one person. So hopefully it all comes out right. We'll see. I got it. There's a lot more work than it probably needed to be, but I figured, you know, there's two different fenders on there. These aren't the original fenders, so maybe the holes were drilled just a little different. Whatever the case is, or they were twisted over the years, I got it on there. And I checked with my tram gauge. There it is. 
and made sure the thing is square. It's about as square as you can get it. As long as the hood is square, hood should pop right in and be just fine because there's not a whole lot of adjusting the width in the front because of the header. So it's just a matter of side to side shift. And if it's square, it should be good. So now that's the next step. Would you look at that? Hood and header are on. Hood is not adjusted yet. It's just on there. Filling up the hole right now. That's kind of a big deal because all the major paintwork is done. All well, other than the bumper, obviously, all the big panels are on. So it's kind of exciting. Very exciting, actually. Okay, so to go back on the trivia question that I asked earlier about the hood and the header, what the difference between this and the um, the chargers are. So if you're uh, still thinking about it, pause the video now or just deal with it. This is your spoiler alert. The hood, very simple. All Cordobas had a trim, so they had holes down the middle. So they could put the trim on. No, none of the chargers did, whether it was the SE or the Daytona. The header panel actually came in three different varieties. Obviously with the Chrysler, you have the grill surround, so there's a whole bunch of holes here for it to bolt on, and then you've got your hood ornament and your trim that whoops and your trim that matches up to the hood. So a Chrysler hood ornament will really only fit on a Chrysler because of all the extra holes. Otherwise it's just a ton of work to make them go away. And they never will really go away right. The Charger SE has a hood ornament, but no trim. So there's just a single hole about in that same location where the hood ornament would bolt on. And there's no grill surround. Daytonas, again, no grill surround and no hood ornament at all. So you could take a Daytona, drill some holes in it, make it work on a Charger, or make it work on a Cordoba, but never the other direction. So there you go. Now you have learned something, and I can pretend like I'm like super smart. <laughs>